Hi, I'm Kate from iPhone Photography School and in this video I'm going to show you how to navigate around the Visco app so that you know exactly how to access the camera, editing and sharing features within this app. So Visco is divided into different areas for shooting, editing and sharing your photos and everything can be accessed from the main menu that you see here on the left of my screen. Uh, now if you don't see the menu um, you can simply tap the menu icon at the bottom left of the screen or if you swipe left to hide the menu you can then swipe uh, right to bring the menu back. So this menu gives you access to uh, the different areas or features within the app and we're going to explore these in more detail in the next few videos but for now I'm just going to give you a brief tour of this app so that you know how to navigate from one feature to another. So let's start at the top of the menu and the first option you see is my Visco username, Kate Wesson. And if you've created your own Visco um, profile, you'll see your own username there at the top of the menu. And you need a Visco profile if you want to share your photos to the Visco grid, which is the photo sharing platform within Visco. So it's a bit like Instagram, but for um, users of the Visco app. So if I tap on my username, this shows my profile and any photos that I've shared to my grid. And to ex exit the grid, um, tap the menu button to go back to the main menu. So next we have the explore option. And if I tap on this in the menu, this takes us to the um, page where you can view other photographers work. So other people who've shared their own photos to the Visco grid. Um, and you can tap on a photo or tap on a username um, to view more information about the photo or to view the user's gallery. But if I tap the menu button at the bottom left or swipe right on the screen, I'll get back to my main menu. So the third option down is the library and this is where you go to edit and view um, your photos. So if I tap library, um, this shows any photos either that you've taken with the Visco camera app or um, that you've imported into the app for editing. And if you tap on the plus icon at the top of the screen, you can then choose another photo to import and tap the check mark and that brings your photo into Visco so that you can edit or uh, share it. Uh, now if you select a photo by tapping once onto the image and then you can see four icons at the bottom of the screen. The second icon along is the edit option. Now if you tap onto the edit icon this takes you to the built-in uh, presets. These are the free presets that come with the Visco app uh, and you just simply tap a preset to apply it to your picture. And if you tap the preset again, you can reduce the intensity of the preset to get just the effect that you want. And if you tap the bottom bar, the white bar, that gives you access to some more editing tools. Uh, so if you tap the second icon along, this takes you to all of the adjustment tools. So you see all these icons um, allow you to uh, make changes to exposure, colour, sharpness, um, cropping, etc. So I'm not going to make any changes to this photo at the moment. So I'm going to tap the bottom bar and then tap the X at the bottom left to exit the editing screen. And that takes me back to my um, main library. Uh, if I tap the menu button again at the bottom left, I can get into the main menu where the next option down is the shop. And if I tap on shop, that takes us to um, the place where you can purchase more um, preset filters. So they come in collections and you can tap on a collection to see more information and the types of filters that you get within that collection. And then if you want to buy it, you can tap buy at the bottom. So I'm going to come out of there and then just go back to the main menu. Um, so the next thing we need to look at is the camera. Uh, so where is the camera in this menu? Well, it's the bottom left hand icon, uh, the square with the circle um, in it. So if I tap on the camera icon, 
that takes me into the camera where I've got a viewfinder and if I tap the shutter button at the bottom it takes the picture. If I want to get back out of the camera back to the photo library tap the um, image thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner and there you can see the photo that I took along with all my other um, photos in the library. Uh, you can also access the camera rather than going from the menu here you can also access the camera straight from the library screen just by tapping the bottom right hand corner of the screen where the circle is so if I tap that it takes us back to the camera and then to come out of the camera just tap the image thumbnail at the bottom right now, there's one last setting in the menu to show you and that is the app settings and that's the um, circle at the bottom right of the menu so if I tap that, it takes me into the settings um, where you can go to preferences and then you can switch on and off um, various options um, in here. And I've chosen to switch on the autosave captured photos to camera roll. So whenever I take a picture with my camera, it's automatically uh, saved into the main photos app on my iPhone. I'll come out of preferences by tapping the arrow at the top and then I can tap the main menu button at the bottom left to access the menu and then I could say go back to my library for instance or wherever else I want to go from the uh, menu. So I hope you now feel confident to navigate around the Visco app and explore the different features for shooting, editing and sharing your photos.